Ready? Ready. Ready. All right. And we're back with Firewatch. Uh, I don't remember what episode this is. Uh, in case you don't remember, I'm Steph, the little sister. And I'm James, the older brother. And here we go. Ooh. I don't remember what we were doing. Is there, is there like a journal? Uh, you might check your map. Controls. What's the map? Toggle jog. That's nice. M. M for map. Wow. Oh, what a shock. Browse notes is tab. Um, note from Ron. Okay. Find boards downstairs to- okay. That's what we were doing was patching the broken windows. Yes, because some jerk decided to come up here and rake a little hell. Vandalism! Yes, against a gov against government property at that. Hooligans! There's the wells probably even. work. Get wood, sister. Get Don't wood. mind if I do. Oh. It won't let me take the big wood. You must settle for little wood. <sighs> Such my poor sister life. and her little wood. Leave me and my little wood alone. As we play, this is played out. Yeah. That wasn't a great joke to begin with. It, it, it wasn't really a joke. It was just in your window. <laughs> Board up, broken window. There was another board over here. Can I take Steph, that? you don't need it. Okay, can you take it anyway? I'm just gonna have an extra board up your ass. <laughs> eh. Oh. I saw a sign. I thought it was a, a person just standing there. I can't blame you at this point. Hi, neighbor. Oh, not a person. There's a broken window. That... More farther, go farther. Oh, that one's just not kind of. There you go. Board up. Wow. Man's a friggin' lumberjack. Arm. Look at that. Some frickin' skill, dude. How is he driving? I got the window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Oh, it's wow. It's really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Uh, oh, wow, that's a skip. Dun, 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 day nine. That six or seven day jump there. Were we on day three? Sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Sure I am. Yeah, great. Oh, it's timed. Not yeah. too bad. You get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um. I called with bad news. When does she not? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Ah, oh, jeez. Happy to be questioned. We didn't do anything at yeah. all. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I yelled at him, but that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. 
I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Wait, Should is this that kind of game? It's worth mentioning, sister. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Will do! That, that, a six day skip! Wow, really nothing goes on in this damn forest. We're in the middle of nowhere. What were you expecting? Fireworks? We already got that. Oh, true. I don't know, Henry. like... Henry, wake deer up. or something? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Oh, it's gonna be on the charger. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Mm, I am. Wait a minute, this is his demented wife? Time? Demented is a mean way to put it, sister. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? Sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Stop! Okay! That's... Wait, 28 days? No. No. Uh, 18, 18 days. Yeah. Don't ask me to do math. No touch! That was a dream, I reckon. Uh, most likely. Or this game's gonna have to get real weird. in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Mm. And my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Why? She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Yeah. Oh. Well, I can respect the lifestyle. Oh, that's camera. Hike so, north. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. There it is. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought... Maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Yeah? Dot, dot, dot? I shouldn't be here, really. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So... A couple of months before I took this job, I... I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured 
figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Oof. I mean, really, Henry didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he took the proper, like, steps to take care of a person suffering from dementia. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want to call running out here and kind of hiding from all the bad stuff going on, you want to call that, you know, messing up. That doesn't seem entirely fair to me, but, you know, it's your life. No, I mean, it's not like you ditched her alone in a house or something. She's taken care of. Yeah. Steph, are you sure you're going the right way? Nope. Being tied to you is like being tied to a rocket without a guidance system. <laughs> I know eventually I'm going to plow to the ground, but I just don't know when. Hey, hey, I found the right path. came to a fork in the road and only took me two tries to find the right one. Uh, this is a great idea. You were saying? It was a great idea what I did say. Hmm. Two Forks, Jonesy Lake, Bruford, Fire Lookout. Oh, that's where what the did you say? Is. Huh? What did you call it? Bruford? Okay, good. I thought you said something else. What do you think I said? Bruford? We were about to have a very intense discussion about how words work. No, no, we were not. I, I don't know much about this game, but I get the feeling we're not going to get through it without seeing at least one bear. Mm, I, we'll see, I guess. The, the arrow pointed this way, so I'm going to trust the That's arrow. That's the thing, Steph. That's the big box. Oh, it's big box. What's that? One, two, three. Three, five? Four. You mental titan. <laughs> now take the one for two forks. That's yours. Got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Another big jump. Been out here our two months? Thereabouts. Maybe just a little longer. Um, that doesn't look good. Proceed for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Big fire, flapjack fire. What about Delilah? So, flapjack? Yeah. No ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Was it not? So we don't know that it wasn't. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And She's very wine-centric. Like when it is so dis 
Just leave the woman alone. Hot. <laughs> we have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Mm, margaritas. You'd like it there. Never saw the appeal. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. There's not much else to look at. look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just... Get lost. Ah, yes. Wanton dis destruction. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Thanks! Me too? Sure you are? Why do you say that? Me too. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy but it's been really nice I wish I was over there are we flirting now me too dot 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 me too I wish you were too are we flirting with Delilah now why shouldn't we be we talk okay without these radios we could um you know Uh, yes, come on. Yeah? What, what could we do? Well, let me tell you. A lot of board games, it turns out. <laughs> uh, let's hope she just wanted to play Monopoly. You don't like Delilah. I don't trust Delilah. Steph, you neither like nor trust anyone. You have so many issues when it comes to people, it's kind of ridiculous. You're going fishing without a license? <laughs> It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Sure! Problem. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You were such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might get your bear wish, sister. It was not a wish. Wait, where am I? Where is... Okay, that's where we are. Shitty boss is going to get me killed, Hill. Huh. Oh, so we had what? Kind of a Nora quest? Stephanie, just go forward. It's a big honking lake. If you miss it, I swear to God, I will decapitate you. <laughs> You're clearly not using your head. <laughs> you say that like losing my head would stop me. <laughs> There's something to be said about... You have ass brain. You have a brain for ass. <laughs> Hand up your ass to capitate. Shove it up there. Grr. Oh, you're so grumpy. I was going to that bear is going to kill you. We don't know. It might want to have a picnic. Am I going the right direction? What game do you think you're in? Hey, isn't this where those dickhead, uh, teenagers were? Yeah, I think this is where they stripped down. Ew. Found their unmentionables. You're gonna get crabs just looking at these bushes. <laughs> See what you did there. What's this? Clipboard? Examine? Oh, well, PDC. What? Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. 
Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Hold on, Vis. I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know... Is that a radio? Oh, what the hell? Regardless, just let me know, okay? But oh, God. You just got jumped. Uh-huh. In the middle of the woods. Uh-huh. Henry, are you there? Oh, they, they're happened, coming for our butt. Henry? That's all there is to it. I just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? It's a conspiracy. What is station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Of your head hurting. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. No, they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. You're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also... I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Okay, so you got jumped by some freaky forest stalker. Mm hmm. Who has apparently been monitoring you and Delilah all summer. Yes. And they have a friggin' clipboard and everything. Mm-hmm. I just have to wonder why. Uh, there's something going on behind that fence. Mm -hmm. Probably. Why do you think those two girls went missing? Okay, so, uh, what? Government conspiracy? Government could be... Uh... Could be a corporation. Could just be a bunch of weirdos. Could be a cult. Okay, I don't think this is cult activity, Steph. How do you know? Well, unless we're talking about, like, Cabalco or something, I wouldn't know. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but... That's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. I swear to God, if aliens actually landed in friggin' where are we? Wyoming? If aliens landed in friggin' Wyoming, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Ooh, dun dun dun! Can you find a rock?
nothing. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. I don't know what 18 U.S. code something, whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ruby River is... Where? Oh, down there. Um... Scout camp. Okay. It's a bit of a walk, isn't it? Oh, uh, it just says find it. So that is to the southeast. Mm -hmm. So it should be over in that direction. Past the fence. Yeah, this is a dead end. For now. Okay. So what do you really think is on the other side of that fence? I don't know. Something's sure going on, though. Yeah. Yep. Some guy jumped you, or some girl, I don't know, someone jumped you. Well, remember way back in, like, episode one or episode two, we saw somebody. Wandering around the woods. Mm-hmm. That wasn't those little girls. No. I say little girls, they were a pair of jerk teenagers, but, um, yeah. So, mysterious dude wandering around the forest. Henry gets jumped, there's some... Um, Weird cordoned off area with a big fence. Yeah, I wonder. So the something best. weird's going on. I'm trying to think what the best way to get back over there is going to be. I think probably go back maybe to the tower? Yeah. What was that? Oh. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. One has to wonder why. Probably just the logistics of it. Mm. Where are we? So I'm thinking if we come down to this bottom loop here, we might be able to walk down. Yeah, that that be uh that'd be my guess. So is there any possibility this fire and whatever's going on behind that fence are related? Possibly? I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Okay, this is to go down to Five Mile Creek. That's not what we want. Yeah. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. So it's just me. 
Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. It's not nothing. Right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. I thought I'd just throw it away. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Listening in? Maybe intercepting our frequency <coughs> with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Okay. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. You know, it's really not that hard to start listening in on someone else's walkie-talkie frequency. No. It's not exactly that. a secure line. Mm -mm. It's basically... You know that thing where you take you two... Sweet... don't know what's going on yet, but... I oh, it's exactly like a I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That or his remains are cataloged in some government uh, files. Or he's down at the bottom of a ravine. Or get it by an alien. You know, one of those three. Okay, so I think if we just head south ish from here. Is this not the way we just came from? No. There's something adorable about the fact you're just bumbling around out here with your map and compass out. You mean the, the part where I just found the trail down? The visual of it, sister. Laugh at me if you want. I found the trail. I will laugh at you. Frequently. Often. I wasn't actually laughing. I was just I actually just found it honestly kind of cute. You lolled. What? Oh, lolled. Lolled. No, Steph, I... Oh, God. It was such a trial. <laughs> I like the music. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> what did they said about the rogue bear? Yeah, we well, just gonna... bear is the least of my concerns at this moment. Well, government conspiracies I can deal with. Um, angry bears, not so much. Stephanie, your priorities confuse me. Not getting eaten by a bear confuses you? And not getting dissected on some government spooks table is kind of higher on mine. Take a good note. Read it. Oh, it's another rope for not Ron. Nope. I'm gonna stop talking. Yes, please. Really wish the powers that be issue us radios that don't didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pinned to paper, but once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. 
My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. <laughs> I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of a way through a bottle of fights Ice. instead. Miss you, Dave. Yeah, because, you know, why deal with your actual literal problems and just get drunk? Mm -hmm. It works for some people. Old toilet paper. Okay, this is not real exciting. Wait, shouldn't you update your map? I did. It was oh. the first thing I did. Right. So it's a map station, technically. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see... The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. HA! Literally. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, well, that doesn't look good. Is that a snowmobile? Mm -hmm. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. I'm assuming they survived. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Camp Arapaho? That's probably where we're going. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. He's not wrong. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Now it's hard to stay tense with this music going in your ears. I like it. I wasn't saying I didn't like it, sister. I'm not saying it's silly or anything, I'm just saying it's very soothing. Oh, it's a piece of wood. I think it's fitting. Stephanie, are you one to disagree with me? No, no more than usual. So, yeah, a lot. No more than usual. Contrarian. I don't think he's squeezing through there. Well, I don't think I can go up here. Well, you can't. Try the other way. Oh, it has this tree on the map. You can't reach it though, sister. Why would you do that and not do it down there where it's a shorter fall?
beats the hell out of me. Have you ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Henry, come on. Get, get hip. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. I mean, he's not wrong. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are gone. Found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Ooh, X. Should have reported first. Report. Hey, come on. Damn it. Oh well. Why, sister? Why? I see loot, I take loot. I'll loot your brain. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I already touched it. Well. <laughs> hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from the boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days... Whoppity stay oh my god. Squad Boss Carson. Oh, that? That sounds great! In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Park, National Forest, to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wild wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told him they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away, but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich something, I'm not pronouncing that. Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Steph. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Okay, Steph. I'm hoping your concerns have shifted from eaten by bear to don't get shot. Yeah, both. Both is good. Okay, fine. Good. Honestly, actually, I think we're probably Done for good. Now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call it. Seems like a good spot. Uh, let's just hold on to that memo. Yeah. Alright, that's it.
cool deal. Well, see you back next time. Arrivederci.